Now at five, corruption allegations. Today I am announcing the filing of two criminal charges against Miami-Dade District 11 Commissioner Jose Joe Martinez. A Miami-Dade commissioner out of jail after turning himself in. CBS4 is live with more on the charges. Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez-Rundle accusing Joe Martinez of using his position for his personal benefit. CBS 4's Peter Dent joins us with more on the charges the commissioner is facing tonight. Peter. Well, Elliot and Lauren, the longtime Miami-Dade commissioner is facing two felonies tied to corruption allegations. He's charged with unlawful compensation and conspiracy to commit unlawful compensation. We caught up with Martinez outside the TGK Correctional Center. Miami-Dade Commissioner Joe Martinez appears to walk out of jail with some confidence, despite the charges against him. How do you feel, Joe? How do you feel? One day, when I have a chance to talk to you, I'll talk to all of you. Right now, I'm just going to go and just deal with that. Those government officials who use their position and staff for private purposes always undermines the confidence of voters and taxpayers. Investigators say Martinez accepted $15,000 from the owner of this supermarket, who was facing repeated fines for having too many storage units. In exchange for that money, authorities said Martinez pushed legislation that would allow the supermarket and the landlord to legally have storage containers. Well, Jorge Negrin kept multiple containers on the property. The property is at Southwest 8th Street and 128th Avenue. The arrest warrant said Martinez did knowingly and intentionally accept monies from Jorge Negrin, owner and operator of Extra Supermarket, in consideration for Martinez using his official position and using his office to assist with code enforcement fines and fees and did create and support legislation before the Board of County Commissioners. In its simplest form, this case involves a public official using his office for his personal benefit. The state attorney also said Martinez had an inconsistent explanation for the payments. The warrant also shows a series of checks. The case was pieced together through emails, text messages, and financial and phone records. These actions corrupt the system and erode our trust in government. The Miami-Dade Inspector General said it took a while to file charges because there were thousands of financial records to go through, and he also said COVID played a role in this case. Now, one of the charges gets Martinez as a second-degree felony, but that carries a maximum penalty of up to 15 years behind bars. Meanwhile, the governor could also suspend Martinez from office. We are live in Miami. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.